Mr. Thurber. Myself and the rest of the female faculty would very much appreciate it if you would please lift when you urinate in the restroom. What are you talking about? I, I always do. So are you telling me that the puddle I just sat in was not yours? Yeah, I mean, no. It looked to me like you aimed directly at the toilet seat. Willy-nilly, without a care in the world. Hey, I didn't do it. Way to go, fire hose. <laughs> Twelve years teaching college. A new novel this week. Up for tenure again. A job for life. This may be my last chance. We have decided to hire another tenure track assistant professor in the English department. Charlie! I wanted to introduce you to Professor Elaine Grosso. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you. Oh, likewise. Wonderful news, isn't it, Charlie? She's a real talent. How are your own publishing pursuits going? I think I'm in pretty good shape, right? Aren't I? It's time for politics, man. The dirtier, the better. As of today, she's your mortal and the... I've got her under 24 hour surveillance. All right, turn it off. What? This is the best part. This is crazy. It's about survival, Charlie. Letting the air out of a colleague's tires. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had a flat tire this morning. Elaine, I let the Coke in the fridge yesterday, now it's gone. Well, this one is mine. Well, I always put a little sticker on mine with my name on it. Satisfied? The sticker on the bottom of the can. That can't, that can't be. Mm, wonderful brownies, Chuck, just wonderful. While my accomplishments at Gray may be hard to immediately quantify, Teach. It's not right what you're doing. Christ, Christ, you dig her, don't you? I'm a terrible teacher. Just remember, you're the smartest person in the room. On paper, you are quite simply the worst candidate for tenure I have ever seen. But your students love you, Charlie. I want to be the teacher's pet. The thought of it makes me... Okay, 